It's your time. I just woke up. My eyes are still. So I'm going to do this again. Then we'll go shower. Good morning. It is day one of, well, the day I change my boobies. So I just woke up, I just took a shower. I still have not eaten since last night or had anything to drink. Um, I was advised to wear something with a zip or a button um, because after the surgery, they don't want me to put anything on, like using my hands or anything. So it has to have a zip or a button. I'm hoping that, you know, this is like, good enough because i'm not really even sure like if i'm going to be like too big i think my biggest worry is the fact that i'm not sure what it's going to be like having boobs and if this is like big enough like is there space for my boobs i hope there is i really do <laughs> um but yeah that's what i chose and then um no lotion no products that's on my face looking all ashy and shit but you can bring lip balm because you know for some reason the lips need to be moisturized okay yeah let me get the rest of my shit together um i'm gonna have to go and buy a snack on the way to the hospital because i need to have something to eat or drink they said like a cool drink or a packet of chips so nothing hectic um but yeah this is like the morning of and what i've done so far okay so now i'm at the petrol station the gas station my boyfriend's actually going inside to get me <laughs> snacks <laughs> um so i'm just gonna get like a big packet of chips mexican chili because well I love Mexican chili. And then I'll get like Coke because they advised us not to have any energy drinks. So I think I'm just going to stick to the basics. Not going to lie, guys. I'm super nervous. Like, as excited as I am, like, don't get me wrong. I'm not like nervous to the point where I won't do it. I'm just nervous because fuck. It's really happening. We are finally here. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm nervous. <clears throat> not gonna lie. I'm nervous. Time for me to sign my life away. <laughs> Lisa, run yourself a bowl, a little bit of water. You're welcome to take off your bra and wipe with the bra, but afterwards put your bra back on. Okay. okay. So what if I just don't wash my feet? That's also 100%, but your follow-up appointment is Monday the 13th. Okay. So exactly one week. So, so you need to buffer this. Yes. So <laughs> can you, as you leave today, you come back to us regarding your dressings. There's no okay. need to change. Okay guys, so I'm about to get dressed now into my robe. I am actually first on the list. A lot has happened since I've gotten here. I had to like fill in forms. Um, basically just declare, well, whatever I needed to declare. But yeah, basically it's, okay, I'm, I think I'm just nervous. I am super nervous right now. So I am getting dressed in my little robe. Apparently my surgery is gonna take an hour and then I'll have an I'll wait another hour to well wake up from the anesthetics. 
I'm getting in terms of my size. I am getting on both sides. I'm getting 350 cc. So <laughs> I don't know. That sounds like it's gonna be pretty big. Like it's gonna be it's gonna be like a C cup because there's a girl that's actually doing the surgery with me, and she's getting a 325 um, cc, which is what you call it. She said it's a 34B, so that means I'm getting like a proper C cup. <laughs> so excited. Um, what else? Okay, these, this weird surgical underwear is, the surgical underwear is weird as fuck. I am not gonna lie, it feels weird. Um, please do like, <laughs> these are my panties. <laughs> Also, I just found out now because I didn't take this one out. So I just found out now that with the piercings, they, they're going to cover it with a plaster. So I don't actually need to remove my piercings. They just want me to remove my jewelry. So I kind of feel really dumb right now because I just took out my industrial and I just got it. And uh, it's so painful. I'm not going to do it again, honestly. Yeah, that was, that was, that wasn't cool. So I'm getting my blood pressure taken. There are my snacks for when I get out of surgery. I'm actually looking forward to eating the chips because <laughs> I am hungry. <laughs> I haven't eaten <laughs> since 10 last night. So it's a bit of a growling situation. <laughs> Thank you. Are you fine? Yeah. I'm nervous. I'm not gonna lie. I'm super nervous, but I am excited. It's gonna be. It's a it's a new start. It's a new start. It's a new start. Okay, so this is one of my surgical mates. I just met her. She's getting the 34B, right? Yes. The 325s that I was telling you about. I'm getting. Yeah, 350 and we actually have someone who's getting 550 which i am like super keen to see because i actually haven't thought of going that big but i might just in future guys so i think this pull is the one that's gonna knock me the fuck out <laughs> cheers to me Okay guys, so I just took my poll. Um, I'm not sure how long I have lived. But yeah. Bye guys. I got <laughs> Okay, so it turns out the poll is actually just so you can like calm your nerves or calm the fuck down oh my yeah so basically the pole is just there to calm your nerves and get you ready and like just chilled and relaxed oh i think i want a nap honestly so we are <laughs> oh, she can smile! Wow! I'm in pain. You're in pain? Yeah. It's... It feels weird. It feels like I'm being held back. You don't even remember going in? Yeah, like you. Sure. Do you remember her? I know who she is. Do you remember me? Yes, baby. Okay. He made marks on my chest. And then they kept trying to, my veins are very small. So they kept trying to inject me.
ADHD they ended up shaking my neck and I didn't even feel that like I don't remember when they even got to my neck because I just woke up and they said we done so yeah we done So you woke up from the theater room or the the restroom? The restroom. Mm. It just happened so fast. Yeah, that hour was like five minutes, eh? Yeah. I was like busy minding my own business and they say, hey, we're done. I'm like, what the hell? So fast. I look at the time, it was 12 o'clock already. Like, she's awake now. I'm like, okay. This one doesn't want to sleep. This one doesn't want to sleep. Okay, so it is. Ooh, it is a few days post. Not a few days, sorry. It is a few hours post my operation. Um, I can't really show you much. But I guess we'll see. I have the drawings on me. <laughs> it's painful I'm not gonna lie like my movements are a bit weird like I can't really reach far like especially in the beginning it was horrible um I just felt very stiff and like unable to do stuff but I can move a little bit it's just yeah, it's uncomfortable. I think for me, laying down is the most uncomfortable because, like, I keep like every time I lay down, it's like so hard. It's like, oh my god, what's happening? I think that for me is the worst thing um, right now. But other than that, it's not as it's not as painful as I thought it would be. I got prescribed like a bunch of um, pain medication. So I think that's also just helping a lot with how I'm feeling right now. Um, the only shit part is there's like one of the main, like one of the pain meds are suppositories. So yeah, luckily I, um, I hired a in-home nurse. So she's literally doing all of that because I, I, I wouldn't be able to do it myself. Like, if you're going to go ahead with the surgery, you should definitely have someone, whether it's a friend, partner, a nurse, doesn't matter, um, get someone to be the, the first three days at least. Well, that's what I've been advised. Um, I'm not sure how long I'm going to actually need, like, her assistance with everything. But for now, I know that I can't do anything by myself. Um, also transportation get someone to drive you um, I wouldn't advise taking an Uber because I don't think they'll be considerate with like the speed humps and stuff because today driving like even like just changing lanes hurt like well I didn't drive but my boyfriend was driving and even when he was changing lanes that it didn't it, it 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 hurt so he had to drive really slowly like especially over the speed bumps like that's how careful like you have to be on the road and i don't think an uber would be like really accommodating to that but if you have no choice just make sure you have like a friend with you also because you're also like highly drugged and you don't want to be traveling with a stranger while feeling that way um so far i haven't eaten i had macheo i had macheo because i had to take my medication i just don't have an appetite for like food that i need to chew but i'm gonna try eat um before my next medicate uh the next time i have to have my medication i'm gonna try and have something um, something light to eat but i did get a bunch of snacks and yeah i mean I, I can still be on my phone which is cool so i'm not like completely like unable to do stuff so i think i'm just gonna spend my time in bed on my phone 
probably get attend these things. But yeah, that is literally what day one is like. Okay, hello. Hello from me and my boobies. It is day two post-surgery. Um, I'm still feeling like a little bit sore. Like it's still a bit uncomfortable to move around, but I feel so, so much better than I thought I would. Um, yeah, I've just literally been laying in bed eating, sleeping, texting, <laughs> like there's not much I can do. I'm trying to do as little as I possibly can because it is definitely not in my nature to sit still. Hence, I think I'm still out and about. Um, but I'm obviously, you know, taking it easy. I'm not doing anything to hectic. I do have help. So at least there's that. Um, I have been trying to walk around um, during the day, but it's mostly been to the bathroom. Um, I haven't showered today as yet. I don't think I'm going to shower today because I'm still a bit sore. Um, but I did wash my face just so I can get some movements in the upper area. However, it is still like... Like, it's still a bit hectic. I'm not going to do too much. Um, so this is the surgical, the surgical bra that they give you. So I haven't taken it off as yet because, well, I'm just letting my boobs be. Um, I had my incisions here at the bottom. So I'm only going to see that um, on Tuesday, no, on Monday, next week, Monday. So I have a follow-up after seven days um, where he's most likely going to remove my dressing and either reapply it um, and give me aftercare for that or I don't know. I don't know what to expect, but yeah. I'm just hoping that when I do go, that it's looking cool, that nothing is infected. Um, I can't sleep with my dog anymore, which is quite sad um, because I actually, they told me that I can't be all like around, my dog can't be around me like that closely, at least not to my chest um, for the next four to five months at least uh, because their hair um, carries a lot of bacteria that could cause hectic um, infection so I'm really not trying to get that but I'm kind of well I'm hella sad because well my dog is like my little comforter I always just spend so much time with her so not spending time with her is a bit difficult for me at the moment and I know that she's so confused because she'll just come to the door and she's like what's going on why does mommy not want me in her room but yeah at least she has my mom so she's not alone <laughs> I'm just I'm the one who's alone um I did go and take like I had a walk around the pool today um as much as I am mobile and I can walk and stuff like that it is it's still like it's still difficult um i can't do much like i have to walk really slowly and my chest does feel like heavy and if i inhale like you know there is like like i can feel that there's something here <laughs> um there's some swelling i haven't seen if there's any bruising but i think yeah i've got some bruising over here um, but I haven't checked if there's any um, other bruising, but apparently if there is bruising, it's going to take like two weeks um, to go away. Um, but yeah, I mean, for day two, like I honestly, I'm feeling good. Um, I got a lot of medication 
a lot of medication was um, prescribed while well, pain meds have been prescribed um i'll show you now now they are in the other room actually so i'm gonna have to get them for you guys and show you but yeah it's basically i think three different tablets and one suppository so trust and believe that is interesting <laughs> because if you know what a suppository is you know that gas to go down there um but yeah at least i am not taking care of myself so that makes things much easier although a little bit uncomfortable because i've never really been taken care of like this but i do have a in-house nurse who is here um and ready to take care of me 24 7 so at least there's that um i don't feel pressured by moving a lot um like i said in fact i am like forcing myself to move around it's good for blood circulation but it's also just to keep my sanity um but i am resting but yeah my nurse is literally taking care of me um with my medication i have to take them like each of them have like a time so i think with the suppositories i have to take them every 12 hours so that's like 3 a.m and 3 p.m um then i have these two painkillers that I have to take every six hours and then i have the another one that i have to take every eight hours so i've literally been in and out of sleep um drinking my medication sleeping like that's literally been my day and i think it's going to be like that for like the next couple of days or at least i'm going to try and stay in bed or stay like you know all chilled and um to myself until i finish my uh, medication cycle because then at least i'll know that you know all the pain is gone but i am looking forward to be more fully mobile around this area i really do want to take off and um see my boots but I, from what i've seen i'm very happy my nipples are a little bit like out of place but apparently they still need to drop so i'm just excited i just want to i just want to see what they're gonna look like after um when i go for my checkup honestly um because right now like i said i'm not as comfortable as i want to be um to be open in it but like it's i don't know it's tied together with these little things but i'm not sure like if you can see it's a little bit swollen but i'm happy like so far from what i've seen i'm happy with the size that i've chosen I don't feel like it's dramatic. I feel like they do look natural. They don't look to me as, like if you didn't know me, I feel like you wouldn't know that I, I did anything. But yo, I am excited though <laughs> um, to see, yeah, what the checkup's about. Okay, so we are on, I think it's day three today. I haven't bathed yet, guys, or removed my bra because I'm just scared. But today I'm going to bath. Um, well, I'm gonna have like a bed bath type of thing, which is also quite weird because it's just weird being bathed. But like, I mean, she's a nurse, so that's what she's supposed to do. It's just, it's weird. I think it's the fact that I'm at home. Maybe I wouldn't have felt so weird if I was like in an actual hospital. But because I'm at home, I'm just like, Ugh. girl, why are you touching me? <laughs> so, yeah, I am going to do that. I'm going to try taking off my bra. Um, and then, yeah, I will come hop back on here and update you guys as to what i've seen and 
yeah, what I feel. But so far, I just have been like literally high on drugs in terms of like pain meds. Like, because I have to take tablets every six hours. So I've just been like in and out of sleep, drinking pain meds. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. Okay, so I've taken off um, my bra and I had like a bath. And yo, I don't know, like they're very pretty. My boobies are very, very pretty. Um, my nipples are a little dropped and it's still hard. Um, but the surgeon says that obviously my implants are going to drop into place and my nipples will lift up so at least i'm looking forward to that um because they pretty much like i think my nipples are like here one is here and the other one they're like down <laughs> so it kind of looks weird um it's still like you know hard so i'm waiting for that's also to just soften a bit, but it's only day three, so I'm not expecting like a drastic change, um, <clears throat> a drastic change or anything. Um, I'm starting to feel a little bit pain by my incision, so I'm trying my best not to move um, too much. Um, but yeah, my boobies are still feeling tender. I'm not going to lie. Um, I'm getting used to them being on me. But yeah, they still feel tender. I thought I'd be like up and ready to go, but I still feel very fragile. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm feeling so fragile. Um... I actually took a poo for the first time <laughs> this morning. So it took like three days for me to actually take a poo. It felt weird. Because like I'm heavier on the toilet now, you know. <laughs> so sitting with poos on the toilet is a different feeling. <laughs> Amongst a lot of other things. But yeah, I'm excited to <laughs> see what other experiences i have i am gonna try going out today but like in an uber because i got some work to do but oh i just feel the way i feel it's gonna be very slow paced morning miss trey good morning how do you feeling today uh well day four is it's chill i think i'm just tired of taking meds like this morning my nurse woke me up and i was just like girl like do you really need to do this like <laughs> i'm tired of taking the meds i just feel like i'm swallowing huge meds my meds are actually all over here they're, they're not nice like but they help they do help i do feel like they have helped with the pain because it's not that painful i am like a very aware of my incisions now where as the first two days i was really aware of them it was more like just knowing that bro there's something on my chest but now i can actually feel like the burning sensation from my incisions um i'm trying to get some work done Okay, so I've decided to come out. I have to go to the bank and do like just like a few errands. But I'm with my PA, so I won't be like handling most of the stuff. We're more like delegating. And yeah, just trying not to say anything. So yeah, wish me luck. Not me having to climb stairs. <laughs> yes, I washed this outfit, so I'm ready to game because I don't have clothes that's a pop. 
have to go and buy it because it's regular cheap. Actually, now. So I'm fully going into the store just to buy the same tracksuit, but in a different color. Oh, most of these, oh wait, this has a zip. This has a zip. Okay. I don't know, this, this suppository thing is, it's a lot. Like, you know, you get used to the feeling and then you don't get used to the feeling. Okay, just do it. <laughs> ow. 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 You see, my poor boobs. Guys, they literally put in, like, the suppository of my body. Jesus Lord, when will it end? When will it end? Don't walk in. You go see my booty hole. Yeah. Done. <sighs> oh, guys, I think this is the most yeah. Enjoy. Like anyone who gets a poop job, just enjoy your bum being invaded. <laughs> This is day one, day four, and I still have four supposed she's left. So I think I still have like six days of bomb invasion, guys. Six days of bomb invasion. It is finally day five. Um, we are approaching the weekend. So I feel, I feel much better. Like I woke up this morning very nauseous and just feeling a little weird. Like I can't place the feeling that I had. It was like, I felt like I wanted to vomit, but I felt like I wanted to poo. Like, but I felt, I don't know, but none of any of that happened. It was just a weird feeling. Um, I think I'm just tired. I'm just like overly tired. Um, but yeah, at least I can wear a hoodie. I put on a hoodie today. My arms are, in the air but i can't like obviously do crazy stuff but yeah i have a hoodie on today okay so my boobs are like starting to like actually feel like they're mine like it's a bit they still it's still stiff and everything but like it's weird like right now i'm going through a weird phase of not knowing what to do with myself because it's like i'm trying to look at myself in all like angles like i'm trying to get used to like my body now like my boobs are hiding like a lot of like a lot of my upper body because before i could literally see like my abs i could see now i just see tits <laughs> not that I'm complaining but I think I'm just at a stage where like I need to figure out what are my poses like what poses look good on me now um even clothes I haven't even tried out clothes yet I'm just I'm slowly getting yeah slowly getting used to this so it is day seven post my surgery and yeah i'm preparing for my first checkup with dr pinara so far like yeah, every day there's just been like a new experience i mean this whole week has been a wild experience like i've been in all different levels of discomfort but it is healing um i do feel like it has dropped a little but it's not as high as it was um so i can i can actually feel that it's moving um but it is your it's painful my pain meds are almost done i'm actually i'm actually nervous i hope that by the time um the last ones finish 
yeah i won't need them because wow like literally when it gets to the hour that you need to change so like i said i have to take my pills every like either six hours eight hours literally if i just get to that hour and i don't have it like i feel it like i i feel my boobs it starts hurting it's like wow what happened because most of the time like when i'm high on these pain meds i can't feel anything i'm walking around it's it's fun but you no guys so do, do take do take your your medication um because it actually is like they actually do help without them i think i'll be in so much so much so much pain um i am going to um for my checkup tomorrow morning so i'm pretty nervous about that but excited um i can't wait to see what he has to say um but yeah i am feeling better i have been feeling like they are like in the well in the paper that they gave us um after the surgery that explains like the aftercare and everything they did explain that i would feel like there's bubbles in my body um due to the fluid that they used uh, during the surgery so i have been feeling like this weird bubbly sensation um other than that like nausea and all of that has subsided um i am feeling a little bit bloated um but i also have been eating like i have been eating bad this past week um literally i've been living with snacks i have been trying to eat like normal food but yeah it's just been it's it hasn't been um according to my reverse diet but i do start my reverse diet tomorrow just to yeah just get back on track with my diet as i am going to be competing um at the end of august in ghana so i need to get i need to get or at least maintain um a lifestyle diet just until i start prep which will be in the next five weeks um because i can't train right now so basically all i can do is focus on um yeah my diet and making sure that that's in check um i'll probably i'm gonna find out from the surgeon tomorrow if i'm able to at least um do some cardio um which is a treadmill walk um hopefully i could do that um i think yeah i think that will at least make me feel a little better because it's hard it's it's really hard not being able to do what you usually do and i'm pretty active so i'm slowly getting like i'm slowly able to do things for myself right now uh, in terms of getting up but it does it's still it's i still need help i still need a little bit of help so they did say that i shouldn't clean or carry anything for two weeks so yeah it is much better i'm able to do certain things but spending and picking things up it's still it's still it's still um a still a journey um but yeah thank you so much for watching um my vlog and just going through this experience with me i cannot wait to hear your responses so do drop some comments do add um some questions or just anything that you'd like to hear from me um going forward i will be doing vlogs um weekly <clears throat> but they might change on well the topic is definitely going to change as i can only talk about my boobs for <laughs> a period of time um even though i know i'm going to talk about my boobs quite often um but yeah please do like um and subscribe to my channel um i will definitely appreciate all of that and i appreciate everybody who's actually watching so yeah man cheers <laughs> so it is day seven post my surgery and yeah i'm preparing for 
my first checkup with Dr. Pinara. So far, like, you know, every day, there's just been like a new experience. I mean, this whole week has been a wild experience. Like, I've been in all different levels of discomfort, but it is healing. Um, I do feel like it has dropped a little bit. It's not as high as it was. Um, so I can, I can actually feel that it's moving. Um, but it is your, it's painful. My pain meds are almost done. I'm actually, I'm actually nervous. I hope that by the time, um, the last ones finish. Yeah, I won't need them because wow. Like literally when it gets to the hour that you need to change. So like I said, I have to take my pills every like either six hours eight hours literally if i just get to that hour and i don't have it like i feel it like i i feel my boobs it starts hurting it's like wow what happened because most of the time like when i'm high on these payments i can't feel anything i'm walking around it's it's fun but you no guys so do, do take do take your your medication um because it actually is like they actually do help without them i think i would be in so much so much so much pain um i am going to um for my checkup tomorrow morning so i'm pretty nervous about that but excited um i can't wait to see what he has to say um, but yeah, I am feeling better. I have been feeling like they are like in the well in the paper that they gave us um, after the surgery that explains like the aftercare and everything. They did explain that I would feel like there's bubbles in my body um, due to the fluid that they used uh, during the surgery. So I have been feeling like this weird bubbly sensation. Um, other than that, like nausea and all of that has subsided. Um, I am feeling a little bit bloated. Um, but I also have been eating, like, I have been eating bad this past week. Um, literally, I've been living with snacks. I have been trying to eat, like, normal food, but, yeah, it's just been... It's, it hasn't been um, according to my reverse diet, but I do start my reverse diet tomorrow just to, yeah, just get back on track with my diet as I am going to be competing um, at the end of August in Ghana. So I need to get, I need to get or at least maintain um, a lifestyle diet just until I start prep, which will be in the next five weeks um because i can't train right now so basically all i can do is focus on um yeah my diet and making sure that that's in check um i'll probably i'm gonna find out from the surgeon tomorrow if i'm able to at least um do some cardio um which is a treadmill walk um hopefully i could do that um i think yeah, I think that will at least make me feel a little better because it's hard. It's it's really hard not being able to do what you usually do. And I'm pretty active. So I'm slowly getting, like, I'm slowly able to do things for myself right now uh, in terms of getting up. But it does, it's still, it's, I still need help. I still need a little bit of help. So they did say that I shouldn't clean or carry anything for two weeks so yeah it is much better i'm able to do certain things but spending and picking things up it's still it's still it's still um it's still a journey um but yeah thank you so much for watching um my vlog and just going through this experience with me i cannot wait to hear your responses so do drop some comments do add 
um, some questions or just anything that you'd like to hear from me um, going forward. I will be doing vlogs um, weekly, <clears throat> but they might change on, well, the topic is definitely going to change as I can only talk about my boobs for <laughs> a certain period of time, um, even though I know I'm going to talk about my boobs quite often. Um, but yeah, please do like um, and subscribe to my channel. Um, I will definitely appreciate all of that. And I appreciate everybody who's actually watching. So, yeah, man. Cheers. <laughs>